Hello everyone. In today's video, we will go through the DAX function. Uh, we'll go through the mid function. I'll just give you an idea about how to use it and when to use this. I've got some data with me, which is in the form of sales state, country and sales amount. Now the sales state is an integer, which is in, and this integer is in the form YYYY MMDD. And I want to do some analytics based on the basis of year. So how do I go about doing that? One way is I could divide this key into month and then year and day. And for that, we will use the mid function. So we just go here and we say mid. And we'll just open this page up. And it says mid function returns a string of characters from the middle of a text string. So you could start from the beginning or at any other place. So you give the text. In our case, we'll just give the integer, but it should work. And then the start, the place to start and the number of characters we want. So let's begin. Let's add a column, new column, and we'll just say, I want the year, so. And I will say mid, yeah, and uh, sales date. And I want to start from zero and go to four. Let's see if this works. So it gives me an error. I think it starts from one. Yeah, so we've got the year now. And let us just add a new column. So month should start for us from uh, the fifth. Again, we'll provide the sales date and we'll say from fifth and we want to, so it gives us zero one, zero one, one, eleven. This is about right. And we'll add one more column for date. Sorry, we'll add one more column for day, which will again be seven comma two and hit enter. And as you can see, this is giving me the complete year, month and date. And then I can do my analysis for month or I can do my analysis for year. So it's a very useful text function for us. And uh, this is one way of getting your uh, year, month and day. If you've got an integer string for sales date, and then you can do your analysis after that. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video.